Well, for more on the New York terror suspect entering the U.S. under the diversity visa program that President Trump wants to end since it allows people is based on a lottery instead of merit. Well, former Trump foreign policy advisor Sebastian Gorka tell Fox News that political correctness is going to get us killed. Take a listen. Look at Australia, look at New Zealand. They have incredibly stringent right. uh, immigration requirements. It's based upon education. It's based upon skill set. There's a whole slew of yardsticks you have to meet. And if you don't meet them, you don't get to come in. You don't right. play bingo and give the guy a green card. Political correctness can get people killed. All right, former Air Force Assistant Vice Chief of Staff, retired Lieutenant General Tom McInerney joins me now. General, it's good to have you here. Thanks for having me, Cheryl. You know, Congress has tried to end the diversity visa lottery program five times since 2007. Do you agree with the pre uh, president? Do you think that this program is dangerous and should be at least reevaluated? Absolutely, Cheryl. There's no reason why we need a diversity visa program. It, this is an example of what's happened and how many other potential terrorists have we brought in with this program. If you look at the nations there, we do not need that kind of diversity. And so I think it's extremely important that the president get rid of this program, even if it's by an executive order, if in fact he could do that. But we need to get rid of it as quickly as possible. Well, if that's possible, I guess, will be the next kind of shoe to drop on this. But, you know, this suspect applied for that program back in 2008. He was granted a diversity visa two years later. I mean, this, though, we should point out, to be clear, is the fourth assailant from Uzbekistan to launch an attack in less than a year. That's according to several reports. I mean, retired CIA officer Gary Bernstein told Fox the country is well-known terrorist hotbed. And we let him in. Listen to this. Uzbekistan in particular has a history of jihadism. There was an organization there that was founded years ago called the IMU, the Islamic Movement of Uzbekistan. There's a place in Uzbekistan called the Farragana Valley where Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and um, I think uh, and Kazakhstan all, all meet together. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, Tajikistan, they all meet together. But that is a group of Diobandi terrorists. They were married to the Taliban. We've fought them before. A lot of these people have been inside Afghanistan. And the fact that we would have a diversity program open to allow people to come in, it's just, it's insane. Especially from Uzbekistan. That is the, the point here. According to the International Crisis Group, between 2,000 and 4,000 militants from Central Asia may have signed up for ISIS. And the Uzbek nationals, or ethnic Uzbeks from neighboring states, make up the largest single group of ISIS supporters among Central Asians. I mean, should there be more protections, more monitoring of this country? Absolutely, Cheryl. I mean, it's insane what we are doing for diversity. The fact is, is when you listen to Governor Cuomo and uh, the mayor, they do not understand when they talk about lone wolves. There's no such thing as a lone wolf. Mm. They are soldiers of Allah. They are soldiers of Islam. They are always connected to it in the ideology. People that talk about lone wolves are really do not understand what the ideology we are facing. And it's extremely important that we do that and incumbent upon us to put the responsibility back on the Muslims to fix this. Infidels can't fix this ideology problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that lone wolf statement from Governor Cuomo last night has really been hotly debated uh, today. We're going to talk about that later on in the show. General, thank you for being here tonight. Really appreciate your perspective on all of this. Thanks, Cheryl.